So with SageMaker, we can use SageMaker Studio, Studio Lab, so many entry points. I want to walk through a, a simple CICD example. So this is not complex code or a complex set of CI tests, but we're going to use GitHub Actions or CICD server, SageMaker as our ML platform. And rather than jumping into SageMaker Studio, Lab, Canvas, all of these great entry points they have, we're just going to use our local machine. We're going to use VS Code. This is the most common pattern we see for using SageMaker. Why? Because this solves, this aligns you with the core problem that SageMaker solves. I want to spin up expensive compute instances. I want to do some ML workflows and have that work saved somewhere. And then when it's done, when the work is done, I want those expensive compute instances to be shut off automatically. This is what we'll do in this file, and we'll have this run via our CI job running all of our tests, which I haven't yet written, but showing this capability of let's execute some ML, let AWS SageMaker spin up our infrastructure, train our model, save everything, and then delete it, and do this every time we make a commit. So the format of this, just to show very quickly, I'm sorry, this is looking a little bit more like some code, but we have configuration here. This is where good project structure, mine is a little bit messy, but this is where this all starts to, to really matter, especially when using a tool like SageMaker, where essentially what we're going to do is we're going to have one script that is our model training code. I'm taking this directly from the SageMaker docs, and I've modified this kind of runner script or app script to say, I'm going to pass in some config, like I need to pass in some information to do for our security step. I need to pass in a role. I want to pass in some information like what compute size do I want to use for this? I want a small one because I'm paying the bill for this personally. Um, and then I have some functions here to, to do these of individual steps, loading our data, training our model. And when we do this in SageMaker, to be explicit, this is kind of the format. Hey, point to me, point a, to a script that does my model training. Tell me what size compute instance you want, like an M5 4XL or one of those P4 24DNs or whatever. Um, and there's some other meta information that we'll pass in. Of course, I've hard-coded the hyperparameter, which is probably the one thing that we'd actually really want in a config file. But no matter. Let's go ahead and run this. We can run this locally if we would like. So I can run Python app.py. This is going to kick off our script. It will make a session. It will load our data. It will start training. Similarly, if I, if I wanted to, and I'll go ahead and just cancel this from the shell, let's go ahead and make an edit to our readme file. And so we'll say we added, oh, let's just do this. Added CI job, and I will save that. And now I'm going to add this file. I will commit it. And we're going to push this to our feature branch, which is GRC new feature. So now let's go back, let's go over to GitHub. And when we open up our repo here, let's open up our repo, we should be prompted, let's do a pull request. So we're following again, this very standard workflow, create a feature branch, then open up a PR. And we do this, it's gonna kick off a CI job that I created using GitHub Actions. This should start here in a second. We'll see this running. This will take a couple of minutes to run. So I'm going to go through the example that I've that one that's already successfully completed. But the idea here is that we want to define, we can define within this file, we're asking our CI server, this one happens to be GitHub or GitHub Actions, could be Jenkins, Travis CI, Harness, doesn't matter. We're asking this other compute instance to launch our SageMaker job. So this, our code itself, our job is still running here in progress in SageMaker. That's where the compute is. We just tell via Git, via this GitHub Action YAML file, we say, look, hey, I've got some AWS credentials I want to securely pass in. Here's the size instance I want to use, some environment variables. Please install my dependencies and then run my code. So I, I really don't actually even have any CI tests set up at the moment, but we're still building the project and training the model. And what's, again, what's really nice about this is as you start to integrate this from the beginning of your project, you're going to start catching bugs and errors and other problems that would that will show up when you try to deploy. So if you actually take a good software engineering mindset, we're doing continuous integration. Every time we start to we make a change, we go ahead and check it in. We build everything. With SageMaker, it'll be even easier when we get to the continuous deployment side, and we'll configure that next. But anyway, I wanted to show this as a follow-on to the whiteboard video from today. Here's a really basic example running through this. SageMaker has all these great tools. You can use Studio and Studio Lab and the, the million of the things that they've got. But the most common pattern and the one you might find most useful is to just run locally, use your, lo use your local environment, use your CI server, use whatever compute you want to launch jobs because SageMaker will handle the expensive, you know, spinning up the compute instances, running and saving your stuff, and then deleting it all when it's done.